You understand? Number one, I want you to remember this is going to happen in 2021. Go back to this video. Save this part of the video for your own uh, uh, wisdom, for your own wisdom. God showed me that the government, not just the government, but governments are getting ready to place a COVID tracker in every brand new phone that will come out. Okay? Every brand new phone. If your phone is is less than a year old, it's going to happen. Okay? Unless you have one of those flip phones. Because you'd be doing some crazy things that we don't know about. But if you have a brand new phone, anything like mine, then there's going to be a COVID tracker. In. And God showed me that every time somebody walks into a church like this, or they walk into a store, the tracker will beep, even if it is not true, to tell somebody that the person next to them has COVID. And so the Lord showed me that when that begins to happen, he said in 2021, so remember this, 2021, it's going to be so scary, and it's going to bring so much fear to people that people are going to break out in chaos, they're going to break out in fighting each other, they're going to try to kill some people, because that's how much fear the enemy is going to try to bring and to kill that person because I don't want fear. People are going to go crazy. They're going to lose their minds. You understand? So, so God says, be very watchful of that. Begin to pray even that that plot will be broken or even pray that you will be protected from such chaos. And ask God why. And God told me, he said, because the great, the catching away of the saints. You understand? The catching away of the saints, known as the doctrine of the rapture. I know that the word rapture is not in the Bible, but the manifestations of the rapture, of the great catching away is all over the Bible. And not just because it's all over the Bible, because God will tell you the truth. And so when I shared it with my wife and we began to pray, we were in our prayer room and the Lord showed her New Jerusalem. As the Bible says, the, the, the brand new city that God will rebuild, that Jesus will rebuild and reign upon when he destroys this entire world was literally in the clouds. She said she could look up and see it. That's how close it was. So I want to let you know that we are literally in the beginning of the end. Okay. I don't want to scare you or anything of that nature, but as a believer, you have to be ready for the meat now because they're going to come after the Christians. You understand? The world is going to come after the Christians with new laws and new principles that go against what you pray for and what you believe. And that COVID tracker will be a very chaotic thing. So I'm warning you now to pray concerning it and to be very, very watchful. Number two. God said, I told you, I saw many people here, there are a lot of people here who remember in 2017, I told people that in the next two to three years, people are going to need to begin to stock up on their foods. And God told me by January 2021, it has to become something that you actually take seriously. Begin to stock up on a lot of water, a lot of wheats. God even showed me simple things like Pop-Tarts. Begin to stock up on it. Let your neighbors think that you know what the crazy person because when it starts to rain, they're going to run to your house and say, you got a Pop-Tart? You understand? Because there will be no food. Literally no meat, no nothing. So stock up non-perishables, things that won't perish, even oatmeal. Oatmeal will be great for you and a lot of water because in that time of famine, the only thing you'll probably be able to eat will be oatmeal. And as long as you know how to make oatmeal with water, because I, I mix it, ooh. If, if you're African, you'll probably notice I can mix the oatmeal, the Quaker oats. You take that on some hot water on a stove. You put it in there. You let it kind of boil and fall off. And you put some liquid, not liquid, powder milk. Ooh, that thing is fire. You got to be African to know that. You take the powder milk. If you go to Walmart or Target or Kroger, you, you find the foreign aisle. Okay, find the foreign aisle. Ask for a milk called Nido, N-I-D-O. It will bless your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You take that needle, put it in that hot water. After you have boiled the oatmeal, I may do a video just to show you that that's the only thing I can cook. <laughs> Amen. Besides rice and the rice cooker, everything else, I'm, pff, don't eat my cooking. <laughs> you will throw up. Take that and make it. Pop-Tarts, all those things. Anything that you don't want to expire for a year or two, start keeping it in your house as of January 1st, 2021. Because you can mark my words, we're on video. This is going to begin to happen by next year. We're in 2020. This is going to begin to happen by 2021. And you're going to remember this service very well. And there's so many more. But God says his son Jesus is coming back very soon. 
So your prayer life has to be different. Your purity has to be different. Your intimacy with God has to be different. I'll give you the rest next time, but I wanted to share those important things with you as of January 2021. Let us pray.